Kanton City TV on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is something that honestly was a very, very good idea in my opinion from Bandai and Dimps. I just don't think that they've actually pushed it to its full potential yet at this point in time. And in DLC 16, we didn't even get a Kanton City TV, which is just an absolute waste considering you just added this into the game about a year and a half, two years ago, which was only three DLCs ago. So to have this in the game for such a short amount of time and already stop using it doesn't make sense. So I truly do hope that in DLC 17, it does return. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why it needs to come back for DLC 17, and then also an update I think it should get to actually improve upon Kanton TV and truly make it something that is one of the coolest things in Xenoverse 2 on a daily basis, not just a every monthly basis or every time we get a DLC update, no. Tauntaun TV is something that could literally be one of the best features of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now before we get into this video, I know people gonna be coming at me in the comments for how my hair looks right now, like, oh my god, trust me. I know it is bad right now, but I'm immediately going to see my barber right when this video ends. So do not worry my boys, next time you see me, I'm gonna be looking clean. Anyways though, back to this video right here. First and foremost, let's talk about Kanton TV. What is so good about Kanton City TV? First and foremost, the hype that it generates in the community. The community doesn't really have many things in Xenoverse 2 to get excited for besides DLC, but there's never been a true like way to showcase these DLCs where a lot of people come together, watch a stream or something like that, or at least there hasn't been in a very long time because after DLC 6 or 7, I believe, they stopped doing those dev streams where they would show us early gameplay of the DLC, show us what we can expect in these DLC packs, all things like that. That was something that was done before in the past. That is not something that they do anymore at this point in time. So Kanton TV kind of did replace that and gave us that little bit of hype where we could watch something in regards to Xenoverse 2 as a community come together and get a little bit of hype about the upcoming DLC, right? But besides that, it also did bring the community together in a sense. Like I said before, it was the only event we had where the community would actually come together. You would see a lot of people in the Canton City TV stage. You would see people in parties, just grouping up, getting ready to see what the next reveal for the next DLC actually was. And sadly in DLC 16, they took that away from this. So I'm very, very hopeful in DLC 17, it does actually return and Canton City TV does come back, but not only comes back, but comes back better than ever because maybe there was a reason why we didn't see it in dlc 16 at all maybe they were working on this maybe they were trying to improve on it now i'm not saying this is for sure or even likely to happen but there is a chance that maybe they were working to improve Kanton tv because well there's just so many things that you can truly do with this to make it a much better feature in xenoverse 2 than what it currently is now and i have a multiple different uh, things that I want to list off first and foremost starting with what I feel are the two easiest things to implement onto Kanton TV to make it a little bit better than what we're looking at right now with this damn Videl and Gohan loading screen I don't mind the loading screens the loading screens are cool but at the same time Kanton TV definitely can serve a better purpose so the first thing that I think they could put up here this one isn't like anything major or anything that I think would make a huge difference on Kanton TV, but at least this way it'll be something that is cycling and changing throughout the different kinds of leaderboards because that I think would be one thing that they definitely could put onto the Kanton TV monitor. Put the leaderboards up there, have the leaderboards there viewable for people right here on this big ass TV. Now of course, it is easier to access the one in the middle, so I don't think, like I said, this will make, make nearly as big as an impact as the other things I'm going to talk about, but it definitely is something they could add to it just to make it a little bit better than staring at a loading screen the whole entire time. So now besides that, what else could they put easily into Kanton TV? Well, what about the Xenoverse 2 story cutscenes? The Xenoverse 2 story cutscenes are damn fire. 
why not have them load up and play on Kanton TV like this for example? It would not be that hard to actually make it happen. I mean, if I can do it, why can't Bandai and Dimps? And I'm just doing this by editing. So again, if I can do this, I'm sure that Bandai and Dimps can do this as well. So to me, those are the two easiest things that they could add in and update Kanton TV with to make it a little bit better. It wouldn't make it like exponentially better. I think the loading screen, I mean the uh, the story cutscenes would definitely be a huge upgrade, but not nearly as big of an upgrade as the next two things I'm going to talk about. The first one being actual PvP fights from Xenoverse 2. Like add in some feature to where after a PvP match is over, you can click yes or no as to whether or not you want your clip uploaded to be able to be used on Kanton TV. Because then they can just throw a bunch of different random clips of people fighting and playing Xenoverse 2 on Kanton TV. And you can just walk up to Kanton TV and see some actual gameplay of different matches. There is no other way really to see online gameplay in Xenoverse 2. There is no replay system or anything along those lines. So kind of implementing that into Kanton TV would definitely be a very, very cool feature, in my opinion, at the very least. And it would be way, way better than looking at the loading screens that we currently do have. Now, the last and final one that I want to talk about is one that I feel everybody has talked about for the most part with Kanton TV since we knew about Kanton TV, and that is the possibility of actually having Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and even Dragon Ball GT episodes play on the actual Kanton TV. That right there would take Kanton TV to a whole nother level, my boys. That possibility alone would make this so much better. Like, it would literally give people a reason just to hop on Xenoverse 2 and watch some Super, some Dragon Ball or whatever with the homies. Like, so many people would just hop on and have watch parties of whatever's being shown on Kanton TV. Now, that one, I feel, is probably the most difficult, though, because that's where you run into, like, licensing issues, things along those lines. I don't know all the different barriers, I guess you could say, that they would have to go through to make that possible, but it definitely would be something I think everybody would appreciate on Xenoverse 2. Because at the end of the day, let's be honest, if you're playing Xenoverse 2, you are a Dragon Ball fan, which means you do watch the Dragon Ball anime, so to have those episodes playing from any era of the Dragon Ball anime, again, like I said, whether it's Dragon Ball, Z, Super, or GT, would be a major addition to this game and i just think it would be something that a lot of people would truly truly appreciate being added in to xenoverse 2 but regardless at the end of the day i'm truly hopeful that in dlc 17 Kanton city tv does return and it also does return with maybe some kind of update because like i said before maybe that is why we did not get a Kanton tv in dlc 16 maybe they were busy trying to update it and get it ready for whatever DLC 17 is going to offer and maybe actually start having more stuff on it on a regular basis than the loading screens within Xenoverse 2. So let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Now again, this does not mean that Kanton TV will even be back for DLC 17 or anything like that. I'm just saying it needs to return and then also if it does return, there definitely should be an update added to it to make it that much better and just that much more interactive as opposed to just having one day a month basically where people come to actually use this big ass stage with this big ass tv setup so again let me know your thoughts down below in the comments but till next time thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one hey y'all